Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitz. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're actually going to be looking at the five steps that can instantly help you guys get a better FPS in Fortnite or any other game that you play. It doesn't matter. The steps that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video are significantly going to increase your FPS. Even if you have weaker systems, it doesn't really matter, guys. If you follow through all the steps that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, I promise you by the end of this video, you're going to leave back with a much better FPS and a much smoother gameplay, guys. Now, the steps that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video are going to be plain and simple i'm not going to go ahead and tell you guys to get a new graphics card or anything like that you're going to be making some changes in your computer and that is what's going to help you guys increase your fps in the game so now with that being said without any further ado let's just get straight into the video and let me show you guys how you can significantly boost your fps using the same hardware that you currently have all right guys so the first thing that i want you guys to do is just go onto your desktop and press ctrl or delete and open task manager so once you open up the task manager this is what you're going to see on your screen now since we want to increase our fps in fortnite we're going to right click on fortnite and then go on to details now you can do this with pretty much any game that you want but since we're talking about fortnite right now i'm just going to select fortnite now what you want to do once you're in this screen is you're going to select the fortnite client that is using the highest amount of cpu now, if you actually see at the right side of the screen, uh, you can actually see which Fortnite client is using the highest amount of CPU. And we're just gonna have to select that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that and go on to set priority. As you guys can see, the priority is set to normal. So we're gonna change it to high. And once you do that, it's gonna take you back to the desktop. All right, once you've done this, now this is only the first step, but as soon as you do this guys, you're going to be able to see a 20 to 25% increase in your performance. And this is only the first step guys. So you want to make sure you follow through all the steps that I showed in this video to actually significantly increase your FPS. All right, now to start with the second step, what you want to do is just go onto the search bar and search for run. Now, basically you're just going to open up the command prompt to do that, type in CMD and hit okay. So what this is going to do is this is op going to open up the command prompt. So we're actually going to be running a command on our computer to increase our GPU performance. And this is the command that we're going to be typing in. So you're just going to type in BCD edit space slash type in set space again, and then just type in disable dynamic tick space. Yes. So you're pretty much going to just copy it down exactly as I've written it. So now once that's done, you're just going to press enter and apply it. Now with that, we actually finished with our second step. Now for the third step, what you want to do is you're actually going to open up control panel. So just search for control panel um, on your search bar and then go on to power options. Now, as you guys can see, since I'm using an AMD Ryzen CPU, uh, that's the option that I get to change the plan settings. If you have an Intel, you can select uh, the first option and just go on to change plan settings. It's pretty much the same thing, guys. Once you do that, go on to change advanced power settings and then select the last option, which says ultimate performance. Click on processor power management, go on to maximum processor state. And as you guys can see, it's only been set to around 80%. So we're actually going to boost it up to 100%. So I guess it's pretty clear to assume that setting your maximum processor state to 100% at its maximum level is going to increase your FPS. Now, once this is done, we're going to move on to the fourth step. So to do that, you're going to open up a run again. And you're just going to type in um, percentage. And then click on... Um, percentage local app data percentage again and then once you do that this is the page that's going to pop up so you're going to want to go on to uh, temporary files and then you can pretty much delete all of these files that are stored into your computer so just select every single file that you see on this folder and then just delete them all of them so what this is going to do is this is not only going to free up storage on your computer but this is also going to help your cpu perform better just because these folders and these files actually consume power on your cpu so deleting them is actually going to help you uh, get a better fps in any game that you play now the final step actually only applies to fortnite since this has something to do with the epic games launcher so what you want to do for this step is you're actually going to be opening up the epic games launcher and then go on to settings Click on Fortnite, take this box right here that says additional command line arguments and you're going to type in a command that I'm going to show you guys right now. 
So I actually recommend each and every one of you guys that if you guys play Fortnite, I would definitely recommend every single one of you to use this command in your additional command line arguments. Uh, this is going to significantly increase your FPS. So you're gonna type in LAN play, use an hyphen, and then type use all available cores. So this is the command that you wanna type in. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna force your CPU to use all its available cores just for Fortnite. Now this is not an option that you get with every game, but since you get this in Fortnite, I'm gonna definitely recommend every single one of you to make use of it. With that being said, guys, one last thing that I would recommend all of you guys do is use the exact same settings that you see on the screen right now in order to make, in order to pull off the most FPS uh, from the same system that you're using. So that being said, guys, this was pretty much all of the steps that you need to follow in order to significantly increase your FPS using the same hardware that you have, using the same processor, using the same graphics card. And if you follow through all the steps correctly, I guarantee you that you're going to be able to get a significantly higher FPS by the end of this video. So that was pretty much the video. Hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please do not forget to leave a like to this video. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.